He's telling us, he's telling us, go out and tell them God loves them. Go out and tell them God loves them. I was telling the teachers in the first grade in Connecticut last September, it was the first week of school, and I came in on a Friday and the principal said, Claire, just go in and say hello to the different class. So I did. Gets to be about 2.30 in the afternoon, the kids are leaving, getting on the buses, and I'm standing in the corridor, and the first grade kids come out two by two, and they're going down the corridor, you know, to get on the bus. And one kid gets over, he walks over to me, and says, stick Claire. I just been in there, he said, I just finished the first week of my first grade in this school. And I said, well, how nice. And I said, did you learn anything? Oh, yeah. Huh? He said, we sang a song, and he said, we had some numbers, and I could recite a poem. You know, he was, he was so happy. It was Friday. You know, his first week was over. So I said, oh, wonderful. I'm glad. I hope next week. And the kid walked because the, the line had gone, you know. And he moved. And he turned around, came running back to me. I'm still standing there. And he says to me, we learned something else. I learned God loves me. <laughs> and I remember thinking, oh, son, I hope you remember that all the days of your life. God loves us. Go out and tell the world that God loves us. He's telling us that's the radical, the radical pope, the radicalism of love. Love. Changed our focus. That's, the kid comes up and this exam is over and the whole thing, they're going out. The kid came up to Father Powell's desk and he walks over to Father Powell and he said, Hey, Father, he said, Do you think that I will ever find God? It annoyed me so damn much with class. I was, you know, he said, I gave him a quick answer. And I said, no, I don't. So the kid turned around, starts for the door. And he said, I, you know, he said, I, felt, I just felt terrible. I, I did that. But he said, I just yelled it. Then he said, hey, Tom. He said, I yelled after the kid. He says, no, but God is going to find you, son. Story. This father tells a story all the time because he promised the kid he would. About seven or eight years old, he gets a call from the kid. The kid has about six months to live. He's got a brain cancer. And he says, I still haven't found God and God hasn't found me. So father said, well, he said, kid, you know, he said, would you come to my class and talk? He said, yeah, I'll be glad to talk to you, kids. And he said, I remember something else you said, though, father, besides about God. He said, you told me that the only thing disappointing in life is to go through life and never have been loved and never have said to someone, I love you. He said, so he said, I, I went to my father and mother and he said, we broke down and cried. And he said, I went to my mother and my sisters, and I told them that I loved them. And he said, we, we, we hugged each other, we cried and everything. But then he said, the next morning I woke up, God had found me. He found me in the love. One prodigal son. And the interesting thing is, folks, there was one conversation on the cross. And that thief looked at that figure of Jesus who was almost not even human anymore. And he said, hey, I, I believe you're a king. Remember me when you get into that kingdom. And Jesus answered, it's the only conversation on the cross. And that Jesus, with all the suffering, the excruciating pain, if he ever moved his head with those thorns that dug into his brain, he turned that head, oh God, it must have been terrible. And he almost got a little bit, he couldn't see with the blood in his eyes, but he could see an outline of that thief on the cross. And he said, this day you will be with me in paradise. There's a paradise. There's an eternal life. Catholic education is teaching our kids life is a journey home to God. Home to God. There is a life, eternal life, and Catholic education is a sign. You're giving your kids a Catholic education. Your legacy is marvelous. You're giving them a gift for life. You're giving them a gift for life, everybody. We're going home. There's a life hereafter. 
is a paradise. This day you shall be with me in paradise. That's, that is a sinking. That's a sign of Catholic education. That's a sign of our faith. And Francis is after the journey, the journey going home. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness ever joy. Oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving of ourselves that we receive, and in dying that we're born to eternal life. See you all in heaven someday. God love you. Thank you.